Right, Mazimba, let me uh, peg my number so that oh seven four one one triple seven four six six zero zero four four. Uh, calls, calls, please call in. Uh, call. P. Right, and I didn't bother my throat pinny. Uh, so welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the program. We're going to look at similarities between uh, Zimbabwe, the, I mean Rhodesia and Zimbabwe. So let me say to the people of Zimbabwe, uh, this is, today, my account has been unblocked by Facebook. Regain to show na and the blog. Um, account you know yanga yaga varwa ne Facebook. Saga ya varwa ne Facebook. Yaga blog wa for 30 days ne Facebook. Ndaganga nda tuka muna nonzi Selina nyagutsikwa. E, urera, urera, rani gini ra, ra Douglas Monzora. Ndagari uza urere ya rea. Dika iwe. Abana chino shamisa urara wana Monzora. Obo ofungwa tukana wararu wana mwonzora. Wanivesi wacha teze razuda. Uza unuda iwewe selini ya kutisikuwa nikuti. Urararu wana mwonzora. Kutapiriru wa kwa kuna mwonzora. Hakuna hini chekuita ni isu. Ni hika ya Zimbabwe. Hakuna hini chekuita ni MDC. Right. Saka loza ndaka taura izozo. Mnu mburuwa. Andina kurowa mkuma edi. Problem ya ngeri ya bande kuti, andai kwa nisa kukuza hai, apana apana hai guna kunyora pa Facebook kuti, e, munuwa ya kuna account, ndire tuma account ze Facebook. Esa haka nishipa diuda, cha zoga food. Esa haka nishipa diuda, are true. Account ya kutanga, ya haka nishipa diuda, ya haka nishipa diuda, ya haka tanga, na ayo, yo yo ya haka nishipa diuda. Saka yae gara yaka report kwa ndika taura anything yu report kwa nwani yu zanu pf. Saka yae gara yaka blue kwa ni Facebook. No but not alright. Chile ka hindi vure another account yaka nshipa diyudu. Ino yu andru kushandi sa ino yu. Saka account yu ndo ya yenga ya kushanda. Yimwe ya yenda mbo yimira kushandi sa. Saka account yu yu pa yaka blue kwa for 30 days. Account yu yu pa yaka blue kwa for 30 days. Regai timbo na pana mkuu mangun wardaku ya pana apa timbo zo account yangu pega bloga for thirty days and na ewe yanda yego na kukuza ina yuko kud account ya bloga saka wia yikuwe ni mo account saka wana wana kuziwa there there was no way I could have told you but apana pana yego na kunyora kud wia itita wuri kuwe ni mo account and this murugona saka ndo saka murugona ni sana nda rova but and na kurova Bonda andi chitaji ma live on Facebook kune mwa account. Saka tapeza udaro. Ndaka suita na mbuziko. Rene tu re three. Ndaka na mbuziko re three. Ndaisha andisa ino nzi three network. We try for the benefit of those in Zimbabwe. Who doesn't know. Kwa singa ziwe kutikuno kutine ma. Tina na iku netu waka siyana siyana. Like wana iku netu ya gupi. Yiku Zimbabwe. Saka daisha nisa 3 network Daisha nisa 3 network Saka Paka itika a contract dispute Ni 3 Ndaka simba Paka itika a contract dispute Ni 1 ni 3 Fone nye likuramba Mkoma likuramba Kueda Saka Pagaitika inonzi contract dispute ni 
Hans you to avoid the virus account plus monetize your account and protect it. I think I have to do that. So the problem is that I can three three network. I had a contract two years. No one with three network. So the contract expired in January this year, 2021. But I didn't realize that if your contract expires, it's a customer who is supposed to inform the network provider and say, look, my contract is expired. And my brother, I thought maybe you blocked me. Maro. No, I don't block people. But I mean, I was blocked in Facebook. You understand? Or say long time. Long time, uh, Poshi, really say. So, my contract with the three expired in January 2021. After expire of my contract, I never, I, I didn't, I, I didn't um, inform them to say, look, cut my contract now, or I need a new contract. So, I was paying 57 pounds a month for a phone, for a phone, and internet, unlimited internet. So I was paying fifty-seven pounds a month. When the contract expired in January, they did not uh, cut it automatically to say, "Look, twenty-four months they've gone past now, so we cannot continue this contract." So they continued for two months. That means January, February, and March, deducting fifty-seven pounds after the contract expired. So I called them and told them, look, my contract expired and now I'm, 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 uh, oh, I'm the owner now of this phone. You understand? It doesn't belong to you anymore. I was paying for a phone and line rental. Now I've got the phone now. So why can't we negotiate for a line rental rather than pay, continue to pay for a phone that I had already bought out? <coughs> so you see, good uh, a new contract with an S21 Samsung. Uh, that contract, it was I was supposed to pay five, five, 25 pounds a month with unlimited internet for six months, and then they transfer then it, they transform it into fifty pounds a month for remaining uh, eighteen months. Problem, when I spoke to their agent, she gave me the specifications of any S21 that I wanted. I told the, the type of phone that I wanted. Then she gave me a wrong phone that I had ordered. And then I cancelled the contract and I retained their gadget. But they did not stop deducting my money. I only realized it after eight months that they were deducting uh, money for the contract that I had cancelled. So when I called them, I told them, I need a refund. They said, we can't refund you, but we have got to, uh, to turn it into another contract. So instead, they put me back on my previous contract. They put me back on my previous contract that I had already cancelled. They started deducting 57 pounds. I said, why are you deducting 57 pounds from my account? Because the contract, the 57 pounds a month contract, I, it expired in January. I entered into a new contract with you, which I cancelled because you did not meet the specifications that I wanted. And you cannot put me back to the same contract that I had, that I had cancelled. You see, so they were cancelled, they were contract disputes uh, between me and the three network. So they did not understand. They, they, they was their business people. So what I simply did was to go to my bank account, my bank, and said, look, I don't have any contract with these people. They've got no right to deduct my money. Then I deleted the... Um, the, the, the direct debit that I had set for them. As a result, they were not happy. They blocked my phone. They cut my services and, and locked this phone. Really say, Mkuma Progress, man. 
Saka so kaitika nchokuti Nda visa direct debit ya hako I don't have a contract with the three And they should not continue to deduct my money Saka nda kaina nika visa direct debit ya hako Nda visa direct debit ya hako Ashina kuwa faza wa nwe three Vaka baba loka phone ya hako This phone can no longer work even ne, in, ne wifi I cannot use this phone even ne wifi And the So I resort back to my Panemwe phone yang Ndo ya nda kushandisa Ndo ino bata wifi Saka at the moment and na line services I can't phone you guys But line rango Ino reach it receiver chat But I can't phone it, I bought internet I can't phone And then mwuzo nye edipo Saka there was nowhere I was going to inform you guys Kuti I've been blocked Netri I've been blocked my phone, I can't access Wi-Fi with my phone. My phone has been logged in Ethere. So they logged my phone. They blocked my services. And the morning. Saka, panapa, mkwana nishitoya live on Facebook like this. Ndiri live on Facebook. Pa Wi-Fi. Ne a different gadget. Ndofunga wanu wanzi kusisa ipa apu. Saka, pane wanu wajinji wa uya. In box, I'm going to punch out why, why is wrong shepherd this. So I ex gave them an explanation that I, I better come and explain to the people who don't know any repo and in the morning. Yeah, definitely three is rubbish. I don't know if there is any Zimbabwean who is still using three network. That three network, when I were in Bava, those are thieves. Those are thieves. I don't recommend any customer. To use three network in the United Kingdom because it's not a reliable uh, network service. Those things are those people are thieves. They've deducted my money for for eight months. I think let me safely say ten months after my contract expired, and they refused to refund me. They deducted almost five hundred, six hundred pounds. They can't refund me. They took that money. I had no contract with them, but they took that money. For for five to for for ten months, they deducted about five hundred something US pounds from my bank account for no contract. And after I spoke to them, they locked they locked my phone. This phone cannot can no longer work on anything. It can no longer it's locked. Netri, you understand? This is the phone that I was using. It's an S. This one is an S nine. They locked this phone. I can't use it. Even the guy even the guy da pa pa. Even if the guy da gana pa. Don't worry about this. I used to break his screen saver. Let's say my guy. This phone is almost like new, so I can't use it. It can't work. No Wi-Fi. I shand. The remote tracks are in my line. Ban ban give cap. Raram bak shand. So at the moment, I can't call anyone. Kana pana wana kwa idaka hongu chite ma calls wanda people who want to talk They can use my number yanda isa hapwe I can receive, I can't call Because I'm on any other line pana hapa, it can't work Wi-Fi chayo, aisu bata Pa phone is Yaka low kwa ne three And mwana I don't have any contract with them Ndaka peza ubadra phone muna January Ten months down the line, they are still locking my gadget and mona. Saka problem you can do that in my great out. Tenda my great out of now. This is what happened to any son of court. And the court one was going to go. They are going to refund my money. And mona. Saka mona that the guy to do it kuru kuru. So that people understand good. When I would want to go over shepherd, don't go over. And not go over. But I had no any other means uh, to contact you guys. Na hita ma live on Facebook Ne same gadget na nrukusha nisa na asba Na hita kune another account yangu And in the morning Na boss nje tu ma account yote Iyo hika blogwa I switch to that account Iyo yo yo Iyo hika blogwa Iyo yo nunge jisha nda ma live But Ine nge ya blogwa ma ma services Ese Saka iyo ya vurwa na ase 17 December 2021 Ndopa ya vurwa Ndo saka nda huya live Kutita uri And in the morning so so as I think I've been clear here uh, to a lot of people and watch the chichi. Boss, I still need your help. I still need your help. Mas Mabwins, 
Parce que nous avons Facebook, nous inbox, nous avons best can we help you that. No, what I only need, I'm looking for 60 pounds at the moment. They wouldn't want to go to the unlock the phone, chat. They need 60 pounds. So I'm going to go to the moment. And I'm going to send my problems. And I'm going to go which I cannot say here. But I uh, hope by January, my problems are going to end up over. Saka pana wangwa ita atoku ba sila ese Kata pana ane sisi ano gona wangu da abla Nduka nre 60 pounds ya ishi mwanu loka phone Bozo wada i just need this one lock this phone To kundinya kutabasa Kata pasi na any other way ya tunu gona kukundakta na Kutiba sila ane guys Nini Nene nda kuya live on Facebook Nene nda kuya erratically Because nene nda sila Daila nda nda my own internet In network yangu I can do Facebook or live on Facebook anyway but can I pass now Wi-Fi? I can't do anything. And the man. Apana yungu nzira yunga nzira sa phone iyo yoyo yoyo mkuma. Apana mkuma NST. Apana. The only way is to pay them. Maria wa rukuda 60 pounds. Then do unlock your phone. Vaka unlock a phone yangu za pay. And the man. Saka I can't do anything. Boz I can't use it anyway. Boz ya lokwa. Nethiri. The only way is to pay them the 60 pounds they want. And the Vaga to Tumila Tamba. Let me see. Can I listen to you? When you understand your grandson. Vaga to Mila. Vaga to Mila Tamba. Just do this up by somebody else. Vaga to Mila. They acknowledge that we don't have a contract. But I don't know why they locked my phone. So that this S9 cannot work. With any internet, it's locked. And but maybe to end this, we're not Zimbabwe. We're not going to Zimbabwe. Maybe no one will stand up. But in UK, it won't work. Ne 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 Wi-Fi. And more, you go to the Wi-Fi. You can't do anything with it. I'm going to ask Abba. You know, you know that Wi-Fi is really poor Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I don't wanna. It doesn't work. Wi-Fi is there. It shows Wi-Fi is there. It's connected to Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work. But it's locked. <laughs> like gift gov, their phones are unlocked. Yo, he, 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 unlocked. He, he, unlocked. He, 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 it doesn't work anymore. They locked it up. I can't do anything. Can I go up alive? Can I go up a chi? I shan't.
is has has rise has risen. And the other ones, and even he said to the guy to watch a match in the UK. Imagine he paid fifty thousand pounds for someone to travel to watch a game in the United Kingdom. In the Gere Panaba, Queen of Newcastle, about less than thirty minutes. Kupinda mu ground mu dwa twenty pounds. I don't go there. I've never been in St James Park to watch Newcastle playing. I've never been in Liverpool an hour away from me to watch Liverpool playing for twenty pounds. But someone is flying ten thousand miles, direct flight from Zimbabwe to United Kingdom with fifty thousand to spend on a on ninety minutes game. And these people are the people we expect that they are going to develop our country. They are the ministers who spend fifty thousand US dollars to fly someone from Zimbabwe to United Kingdom to watch a game <coughs> for ninety minutes. So they have disrupted the economy. This is why we see we've got shortage of foreign exchange in our country. GNDP dropped. Consumer spending is down in our country. Unemployment is up. We have got probably the highest unemployment rate in the world. If you look at uh, farming, Mapfumo Agaimba to Dr. Thomas Mapfumo Agaimba Agadi, Maitu Guri Makuri Nyori. This is why you see when I spoke on Zima, I, I said, if the Zimbabwe government, in Evan, Wagada Sayuda, Taifano Garapas is a government, invite. Dr. Thomas Mapfumo, Dumdara Weaipano, Nonge Zerepa Trukutaza. Because I say to the people, there is no prophet in Zimbabwe than Thomas Mapfumo. He is the first person who opened our eyes into what is corruption. Pagaimba corruption in the society. Agaimba Agad, Maitu Kurima, Kurima Inyore, Maitu Kurima Mnogon, and Murgon. Tagu Juna to Kurima Wacho, a person at Chawano Gonavana. Avana. Saka, those were prophetic songs from Dr. Thomas Mapfumo. Agaimba, what they wonder about Garutumira and Akundum Shadura. And Mabunaha Dura. Saka, I don't know what type of a prophet you guys want. <coughs> I'm sure of the Zanu PF, Zino Zonya. Imba, but they don't respect the people of Zimbabwe. Zanu PF. Very patriotic, papi <laughs> They they have never been patriotic. This is why you see they bank their loot in foreign countries, but they have never been patriotic. If you are patriotic, you do like what Shepard Duda does: stand by the nation. I don't stand by individuals. I don't stand by certain people. I stand for Zimbabwe, and I stand by Zimbabwe. They are not patriotic. They have never been patriotic. Thanks, Adita Rose. Uh, <coughs> That's my, that's my girl. They've never been patriotic anyway. And the Murugona. So if you see their disruptive econo economic ways, these are the effects that we see today. Industries in our country have, cl have closed. They are opening industries in Singapore, opening hotels in Dubai, businesses outside Zimbabwe. While Zimbabweans are going unemployed, are going hungry, no hospitals, nothing. They take the money from Zimbabwe, bank it in Switzerland. This is this this was another prophetic song from Dr. Mapfumo. And now using youth to follow on a Java useless. Yes, because they are trying to make them to keep keep them occupied. Mr. Mavazo was talking from head, and Dr. Mavumu speaks from heart. That is another difference between Zanu PF people and Zimbabweans. Because Dr. Thomas Mavumu, to be honest with you, he is. I've spoken to him on several occasions. You know, that my respond and I want to Thomas Mavumu, Gunam Darawa Dumkanya. He responded with INDT. Shepherd Yuda. Mama Puma, I'm not a politician. I've stood by the people of Zimbabwe even during the war. And I still stand by the people of Zimbabwe today. 
I don't stand by a political party. Uh, uh, those ways, Saka Vazandipa, could I must respect Vama Pfumo. Kunyango and Fonera and Kawafona Stowra, Grosini Pisanenda Paspavo, Nudvagandit, he is not a politician. He does not advance a political party issue or a motive. He stands for the people of Zimbabwe and he has stood by the people of Zimbabwe. So to Dr. Thomas Mapfumo, he is a representative of Zimbabweans, including those in ZANU, those in MDC, those who are non-aligned. Your representative is Dr. Thomas Mapfumo. He has stood for us even before the war ended, before independence. So there is nothing that ZANU PF can tell us about Thomas Mapfumo. No, no amount of insults that they can insult Dr. Mapfumo today that can divert uh, how we view Dr. Mapfumo. To me, I said he is probably the only prophet in our country. Everything that he said came to pass. Tinema prophet aiti varugenda uno uno musazwafi pakata orwa nemfana anonzi talent talent ichuenga uya akati vakomana varumava. Vano nda kumachechi, wano kufura ni papa renyato, pana wano wane kienza, pana wano wane kuruwara, wangota za kufema, wano wachifa. Avana kana day one, rawaka mbupinda puma wode, kupa renyato kwa chiti, natumwa na mwari, e, raza romuka. E, baba mwari wala simuka ufambe, pora ni msara jesu, apana. Vano nda kunuunga na pana utarodu, uya ini mari. Uya ini kuna matri. Kutuuno na matri, uwe uwe, uruda mari. Anduru wano. And this way, Mary. It was easy for Dr. for Dr. Thomas Mapfumo to go with the Zanu PF line, sing Zanu PF songs, earn a lot of money. Kutara kwa tuke nga dayawari Zimbabwe, but she make a Mary in Yochikisa. But wakata wala wadi, jiri nani, jandina asu jese, jiparari. Ndi mirile wana we Zimbabwe. I've stood by the people of Zimbabwe before independence and after independence. And he is still standing with us. And the mall. Saka, Jesse, Zoma Pumo, and our church tower, was tower, and the Magawa Terrier. Why tower? Because he has seen a disruptive way of our economy. He has seen shortages of foreign exchange. He has seen shortages of GNDP. He has seen uh, 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 the, the dropping of GNDP. He has seen uh, the fall of consumer spending. He has seen unemployment rising up. He has seen uh, all the farming products going down. Kwachundu. <laughs> Kaiti karimata eni sama 50, 60 bags zichibagi kujembi. Yes, nezu kwa namu na 20 bags zichibagi. Zuhi yanga zungusha misira. You understand? It, it shows how our country was mismanaged by Zanu PF. This, everything that I've said, it focuses on the disruptive political effects. If you look at the political policies, the political mitemo uh, ya politicians, the, the, it created what we call disruptive uh, political effects. What is that? Disruptive. Chichocho. If you see a construction part is reported forming in opposition to Ian Smith during that time. A group or the group was centered on prominent business and professional men. That was in 1967. There is a gentleman known as Lord Marvin in January 1967. He organized a petition to request that Smith reopen negotiations with the British people. 4,000 people signed it. There was grumblings in South Africa about Rhodesia intra -insigence. In December, the influential African paper. The newspaper called him Dara. But Dai Beja, Rangari newspaper, I own one of these gentlemen. But that newspaper is Dai Beja, Chibua. It was Africans. It suggested a unilateral 
abolition of UDI. The article was censored in Rhodesia newspaper. Ana bubuda. Shaka fara ne music ya Dr. Mapfumo. This is what we call uh, uh, political uh, di uh, disruptive political effects. Good Lord Marvin. Akatanga kutaura. Wana Ian Smith wakat. Ii nika yekwa yaku yendo. We've seen disruptive economical effects. Why can't we open negotiations with the British? Smith kakarambu. Kukabuda eh, mudai beja. Vashita ura kuti. Masa South Africans. Wakumana. Mimi abolisha hai. A UDI. It's not helping you. Smith kakarambu. And Morgana. Kukaforma. A political party, you can say MDCT. You know, to get me Rwanda Monsor. You can form an Ian Smith. I hit the opposition. I hit the opposer. So, this is why I am saying there are similarities between Zimbabwe and Rhodesia. This was a construction party that was formed uh, in 1967. To, to, you want to go say opposition. You want to create a democracy. Ian Smith. No, because it would pass raw arrow, no more sanctions are as humble one now. But there were other loopholes, like what you see. There are similarities here, guys. Loopholes, sanctions, loopholes. Oi, Ogata's a Zimbabwe government. No matter they cry that they, my sanctions are hating us, there are loopholes. These people, they are using. Mary Chuenga got out. I got the Constantine Chuenga and my properties to UK. Which he bought in the name of his uh, relatives. Yes, apana wana mgabe yes, wana apana sina ma properties. Mkumira watinga mansion here <coughs> from the money they looted in Zimbabwe. So there were like sanctioned loopholes. If you look at oil, Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, Rhodesia, Rhodesia was receiving all the petroleum it needs, all from the shell. They were receiving oil from BP, Caltex, and Mobile. These were major companies which were supplying oil to Rhodesia. So they had their refineries in South Africa. And they crossed the border either at Beit Bridge, Bachunza, Oil, or by railway through Mozambique. So Rhodesia, they were oil, they were loopholes. But even though they were on sanctions, but they oh, they got oil from Shell, BP. BP is a British company. Shell is a British company. And as as we were Caltex and Mobile, they were bringing oil into Rhodesia. All you are saying, I used to hear from my father when I was a kid growing up. Thank you, Mkoma John. Thank you for confessing. So you find that oil we are in Zimbabwe. Through Wana Mozambique, Mwichpina Nepa Beit Bridge. No more Rhodesia oil consumption during that time was 8% of South Africa consumption, and the refineries in South Africa they uh, increased the capacity so that supplying Rhodesia is not hardship. So there were oil refineries in South Africa which increased the capacity to supply Rhodesia. Uh, fuel tanks. The Golira has had this intelligence that the oil is coming from this and it's sustaining Rhodesia. It was because of this oil which was being supplied by Shell, BP, Caltex, and Mobile. You know what they did was go and bomb the, the tanks in South Africa. And it I Farera, we are who's going. Paga ipa pano nasi eh paru ziza, tu ziza. As back then they were street lights, nothing like load shading. Very true. <coughs> and the So to create hardships for the Rhodesian government, the 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 the, the Golira said to bomb the oil stations. They were bombed. That disabled Rhodesian government. Because it was on sanctions. The whole oil was banned. So, you understand? So, if you look at oil here in South Africa, Zambia, the skeletons of colonialism remain in Africa. 
Zambia's communications were directed southward through Rhodesia. In Zambia, cuts of trade with Rhodesia, uh, she faces she faced economic strangulation. So, if you see in Zambia, if Zambia had cut economic, uh, they did they did cut the economic uh, economic um, supply of certain things to Zambia, to to to, Zimba, to Rhodesia. And when they cut that, there was what we call economic strangulation. Because Rhodesia was a country that was um, a landlocked. They relied on Zambia and South Africa. Because Mozambique was hostile. Botswana was hostile. So the only two countries which, uh, which saw... In Zambia, it was done by those whites who were in Zambia. And who could, uh, who, who could influence... Government, Zambia wako ndo kwa kataka corruption, kwa corruption ya ipinda Zambia ipapo. Batsira ana kuti, batsire kusimu zira rodisha. Anze, ya ipura nipa kaprif oyu. Thank you, Atedeje. So you find that there was, there were some loopholes that sustained rodisha. But when Zambia cut ties with rodisha, and uh, when this uh, oil tanks were bombed that it crippled the Rhodesian government <laughs> so sanctions proposals vigorous enforcement of mandatory sanctions they were mandated not not targeted sanctions they were mandatory sanctions last time when I made the presentation I spoke a lot about targeted sanctions and what are they mandatory sanctions what are they so these were mandatory. Rhodesia was under mandatory sanctions. Example, payment for union carbide chromite stockpile uh, held in Mozambique, it was blocked. Uh, Friends of Rhodesia fundraising in the United States for Smith was prohibited. This is why Mkoma uh, how are you? And the sharp difference too, I guess, they built infrastructure during Rhodesia and the economy was well old, but nothing like this can be said about Zimbabwe. Thank you, uh, Taro. Thank you so much. I remember tanks bombed in South Africa in Rhodesia, 1979. I was in Harare when those tanks were bombed. So you find that uh, these uh, mandatory sanctions, like what we said in the United Kingdom, Zanu PF is allowed to do some fundraising, and when they get the money, they send the money to Zimbabwe and uh, see people being gunned down, sponsor terrorism in Zimbabwe. So this is why we said we must stop all the fundraisings by Zanu PF in the United Kingdom or in the U.S. because these fundraisings are they are raising money for terrorist activities, shooting innocent people. So. During Ian Smith regime, Smith was under mandatory sanctions, and that they prohibited even uh, these fundraisings. Both in the United States, people were fundraising for Smith, and the U.S. government stopped that. And more. So, if sanctions were effective in the uh, in those years or months, uh, undertake an airlift. For Zambia to enable her to cut trade with Rhodesia. The US and the UK during that time, uh, or their governments, they immediately caused Caltex, Mobile, Shell, and BP to cease and desist the refining and the selling petroleum products in South Africa as long as South Africa supplies Rhodesia. So these were measures which were taken. These were just proposals. Sorry, guys. These were just proposals which were made. Like uh, those BP, BP Shell, uh, uh, Caltex, and Mobile, th they were said, guys, because you are supplying Rhodesia with oil, so you must stop or scale down production to starve Rhodesia. There was need to strangulate or cut ties between Zambia and Rhodesia. There was need to stop fundraising for for Ian Smith in America. So strengthening 
the sanctions. So what happened is the, uh, the and we will not support policies abroad that are based on the rule of uh, minorities or the discredited notion that men are unequal before the law. That was United States President. This similar statement was said by the Archbishop of uh, Canterbury. He who told uh, our bishops from Zimbabwe that look, as long as you are stealing, looting, trump, tr trumping on human rights, we are not going to support you. And then more. A failure to resolve the Rhodesian crisis with the justice of the African majority would inevitably strengthen the hand of the extremism, violence, and racism in the heart of Africa. This was written uh, in a letter in Washington by Ambassador Goldberg. It is exactly what is happening today, that if the United Nations stop to uh, solve the issues in Zimbabwe with justice, with accountability, especially in Zimbabwe, this will spread to the whole of Africa. And this will, with, we will strengthen extremism, is what we are witnessing now in, in Mozambique. In Zimbabwe, ZANU-PF had similar gangs like Al-Shabaab in Kwekwe. So these were the people who, did, uh, 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 who, who initiated a lot of violence, racism in our country. So what were the resolutions? The Americans were involved. The British were involved. The Europeans were involved during Rhodesia. The American opposition to sanctions, it was well organized. Led by Senators Eastland, she was not married, and the Fanin Aris, begged by Congress, young, the quite a lot of people who were opposing the issuance of sanctions on Rhodesia. The most likely effects of a successful Rhodesia lobby might be. Zimbabwe is doing the same lobbying for the removal of sanctions. The administration will ignore all other Southern Africa issues and resist tightening sanctions at least until late 1968. Ian Smith will derive, or Ian Smith derived moral support from American sources to prolong his struggle. Certain United States trading companies might be persuaded to test the legality of UN actions. This is what you see today, that certain companies in Zimbabwe, they had to test uh, this, uh, the legality of these targeted sanctions. And certain, certain companies are on sanctions. So it is the duty, it is our duty as Zimbabweans now to organize and combat this oppression in Zimbabwe. We need to organize and combat what we have witnessed in our country. Make up delegations to visit Washington. So it is about Rhodesia, which was sending delegates to Washington. Similarly, Zimbabwe sent delegates to the UK to discuss anything about that. They were trying to persuade the Bishop of Canterbury to have these sanctions removed. So they had to invite the bishop to the uh, table and try to speak to the bishop. This is, this is exactly what happened during Rhodesia. There, was, there are similarities, sharp similarities here. Write letters to the Congress in, in America, to the uh, West Minister, to the Candy, Bishop of Canterbury. They wrote in newspapers, in Herald. Everything is put there. So these are similarities uh, that we have witnessed I've here covered the history of Zimbabwe. I've covered Rhodesian realities, especially in 1963, the population, how many whites were in Zimbabwe during that time, and how many blacks were there. I've spoken about the education system, where 4 million Zimbabweans were given similar budget to 200,000 white people during that time. Land issue is still a thorn in the flesh, still never not being solved. The police said what was happening, detention of people, locking up people, sentencing people to death. A lot of which happened during that time is still happening today 
in Zimbabwe, UK, UK, the relationship between United Kingdom and Rhodesia, it's, 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 it's history repeating itself, ladies and, and gentlemen. So I've touched quite a lot of things, a threat to the peace, what is a threat to the peace, I've spoken about it, implementation of sanctions uh, on Rhodesia, disruptive economic effects, disruptive political effects, all the situations are similar to what we witness today, sanctions, loopholes, these Mchiwengas using relatives to buy whatever they want, Aguirre is buying oil and so forth, sanctions proposals, how it was done, strengthening of the sanction, and our participation as Zimbabweans, what we should be doing right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are similarities that I've spoken about. If you look at today, we've got political prisoners detained, we've got uh, but, but, but people under restrictions, quite a lot of people have been murdered, which must see Zimbabwe government accountable. Anyone leading that country must be accountable. So for 42 years, for 42 years, uh, Sanu PF drove all of the important decisions about Zimbabwe. All the important decisions about Zimbabwe have been driven by Sanu PF for 42 years. As you see today we have got uh, Zimbabweans, um, everyone in Zimbabwe is not equal. People in Zimbabwe are not equal. And in Zimbabwe, the, all, the only person who is a king is the president. We have had even Chwenga uh, crying to say, chief must be punched, chief must be investigated. Because chiefs, let me tell you Zimbabweans, chiefs are not chosen politically. You don't vote for a chief. Interference. Chwenga is not above any chief in Zimbabwe. Chwenga is not above any chief in Zimbabwe. But I hip up. Chiefs are not elected. My chief Ivan Vangavan Umamboy. Kubama Bunasata Pinda Munikayedu. Chieftainship has been existing for years immemorial. Kudara Mazmambaya, Shavai Tavaiti Gana, Vane Territory Avano Tong, Vive Nema Jindao Nema Sojao, Nema Purisao, Vido Simgao Gazra Amizao, Wono Pinda Munum Tapa, Oro Anana Munum Tapa, Kanawachinga Mukunda, Vano Vanzi on Rola Tonga area Yacho Yese. Saka, you will find with my chiefs, they are not under, they must not fall under anyone in our country. This is why I am saying, could Zimbabwe must be a free country now? Zimbabweans must free, must remove Zanu PF so that you retain powers with the chiefs. Akuna president are not visa chief. This is why you see Chief Nduwen and Kasha Nduwen cannot be removed by anyone. Chief Yaruta Anz Maguru cannot be removed by anyone. But his blood is royal blood. It's a lineage, it's a, 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 a lineage that should be followed for those chiefs. Kanawari Mambo Chundu, Mambo Chundu. Chief and elections to choose another chief. Uh uh. chief on Jimbo and the the owner of that area. Can a government is that we develop that area? They go to the chief. So chiefs are not below the government. Chwenga must be reigned. Chwenga must be taught. Please explain to Constantino Chwenga that even during the war, Pairu wa wondo, warwe wondo, waitanga wate enda kununa mambo, wundunu, wato shika mambo tawuya, triwa na triwa ruwe wondo. Mambo wata uradumunika mangu muno, amurepwe munu, ambati zwe moto, awuchere mvura nepoto nema, awite jakatu munika mangu muno. Saka wane nge wakuto ziwa makuwa wa hiru wa wondo kuti Eri ya tungo wira yoye kuti wine wondo kusa edukuya Mambo wakata akuitko shakati, akuitko shakati, akuitko shakati Then they followed what the chief said Not today kudanzi they want the chief to follow what the government say That is wrong Chwenga must be arraigned Chwenga anfana kutsuruwa And you know Bozi Chwenga must be overthrown this is what I can only say. Chwenga must be just removed. Zimbabwe government must be overthrown. Because whatever they are trying to show us in our country, we have never 
seen that. As Takura Chona Mads Mambari Poy, one who remakes, our two qua wind rope and berry, a wind rope of Facebook, who took a Mads Mamb. As it as it a Mamba Tukwe. Hope she say Mkumaga by So over thousands and thousands of years of history, Adam was a Mamba Stuka. Territory is Zimbabwe. It has been under the chiefs before even the white settlers came. It has been divided into chiefs. It has been divided into territories which were run by chiefs. And Sana Bonswa territory ends in Twakas. Msharuba Zuri said. Saga, this territory was divided for thousands and thousands of years ago into portions which were run by chiefs. And one. So throughout Zanu PF rule, we are told that Zanu PF used to bow before the chiefs, get the chiefs' wisdom, understand what that area required, and what they. Then today that cannot change. You cannot run a chief. A chief must run the government, not the government to run a chief. And why do you Miko? Thank you, Mkomagaba. Why do you Miko? The area. Muga pinda ma chief chun, ma wene miko zemo. Muga pinda wana marange, ma ipu wa miko zeko. Muga pinda mchimani mani, ma ito uzu wa mchimani mani, uta amuite jakati. Munu ma amuite jakati. Andi murugona. Saka, this radical socialism, ya taa kudakura tizuwa, ee, nana ambu kawa, aisi rio, mazimambo haituwe kudaru, mazimambo haatukwi, muta orechu wenga, kuti akufarisa, and in the morning, Saga, ladies and gentlemen, this is 25 past 10. Uh, let me uh, just leave you for tonight. Kune wangwa ishi danzi, tuta kubasirai mkuma, tuta kubasirai. Anenga asina benga account rangu, nduwa saa kupai benga account rangu. But wa shinji wanaru, marilu wa bachete, I think to unlock this phone is 60 pounds. So for sato farm, and this is my honor. Mwana uh, ndi siri live on Facebook That means the end is in the internet Until things are sorted Kana shanaka Nuku uza yeme gawata Haa sha hita manji Ta haku zogera Fumpa nyera Live on Facebook And the mwana Saka for tonight Ladies and gentlemen I want you to Enjoy this presentation I'm going to download it And put it On uh, YouTube uh, So I say good night to you Or enjoy your night This is Friday Kuzampela vig chishano na e dona uti mugare saka naka saka ni chanya ku page rakani shepa diu dakuya doenda about an hour again talking about the same issue so that people basa no water around I'm back to my original page rafu wanas so good night.